Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Exciting day today, guys. We got Yonex Ezo 98s, 2022 editions in the house, and we're going to try them out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get started, big shout out to Mr. Emmanuel from Guam. Mr. Emmanuel is a teacher in an elementary school, and the two schools are called Adacao and Carbolito. Mr. Emmanuel, thank you for what you do. You are my hero. So kids, listen to Mr. Emmanuel, okay? Stay in school. Be good and be safe. Thanks, guys in Guam. Shout out to you guys. Okay. All right. Now, the 98s. The 98s. Man, I wish I was in Guam. Mr. Emmanuel got a room for me. I'm coming, dude. I'm coming. <laughs> I need a break. All right. Um, e Zone 98 in the house. It's been in my hands for a little bit now. I'm super excited to give it a try. Um, okay, so let me just show you. The, the specs really haven't changed a whole lot, a whole lot. Let's take a look at what has changed. Okay, obviously, I'm going to just quickly roll through here. 98 hasn't changed, 305 hasn't changed, 27 hasn't changed. Let's look at what has changed, though. Let's look at the width. Let's look at the width. I'm going to try to move a couple hands over and show you better. Width has changed. Width has changed. We went from 23 to 23 and a half, 24 to 24 and a half, 19 to 19.5. Everything else is the same. So what happens when you slightly thicken, thicken your racket, not your gravy. What happens to that? You make it stiffer. What happens when you make it stiffer? You get more power. You get a little more stability. I actually felt that this could have used more power, this version, but that's just me. I mean, it played well as it was, but who doesn't want a little more power? We got a thicker beam all the way through from top to middle to bottom. I can actually kind of feel it right here because I like, I want a little bit of a thicker feel through here, which I'm feeling now. Maybe one whole millimeter would be better for me. Yonex, one whole millimeter for this guy, okay? Uh, called Reina. Anyways, um, let's give this racket a shot. I've already strung this up and I put the, the cool Polytor Pro 125 in the blue in here to kind of make it match the whole deal. So let's go out. I'll see you on the court. All right, guys. So on the court, got my man, Coach Goo. We got our new E-Zone 98. 2022 edition. Let's see how it is. Just got off the court, he's on 98. Coach Goo. Uh, first of all, I'd like to comment on the paint job. It is actually really cool. I actually like the paint job this year, or the next coming year. Um, racket feels really easy, like easy power, and definitely a lot easier to swing around. It definitely feels a lot quicker, but it doesn't, but it feels pretty solid all the way around the racket. 
Um, compared to the old version I used in 2000, 2019? Yep. 2019 one. Uh, that one felt a little light near the top, but overall this one actually felt pretty good throughout the whole racket, which I was surprised about. Um, overall pretty stable, good feel. Definitely a lot more pop than the other version. And yeah, I mean, I was generally surprised with this racket. So this racket gets better and better. Mm -hmm. I feel like... It's like Toyota. Yeah. <laughs> it's reliable, guys. It's reliable. No, it, it, great feel. Great mm -hmm. power. Easy access to power. Cuts through the air very well. When you tag the ball in the strings correctly, you get that nice blast of power. Mm -hmm. Easy power. And great, great feel. Uh, I guess they... From what I've read, they triangulated out this thing to make it more aerodynamic. You can actually feel it. So it does cut through the air better. The throat area has more feel, has more aerodynamic properties too. Mm -hmm. So both of that actually makes it carve through the air with ease and speed. Mm -hmm. I Is it my imagination or is there like a, a Reina kind of a feel to it it's not quite Reina, but it's almost there well kind of yeah i mean there's like small hints of it for sure small hints small hints yeah no, the right the right now has like more control more stability it yeah. feels definitely more flexible this one feels a little stiffer right it has the hints of it so this part increases stability and firmness just just this little part just this little part so and it works. I, it works. It I works. mean, just this little piece being a little thicker enhances kind of the whole frame. Yeah. Okay. So definitely a winner. Dare to say racket of the year 2022. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking on that blade, but this it could be <laughs> this could be one of them again. All right. So um, I would definitely if you're a DR98 user from back in the day, <clears throat> we're getting real close to that, if not surpassing that. Okay. Yes, I said that. Surpassing a DR98. That's very bold. Yes. And I'm, a, I'm bold. a bold man. Yeah. Of course I'm not. I'm a bold man. And a bald man, too. Okay. <laughs> Told you, right? Okay. Yeah, bold and back. bold. Okay. Got to watch out for us. Can't trust us. Okay. That's just All right. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Want to thank mm -hmm. my man, Coach Goo, for hanging out with me today. Where can we find you, Goo? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. So... You mm -hmm. see this racket, you better buy this racket. It's a good upgrade for them from the last one, for sure. It'll probably be in time for the Australian Definitely. and a great Valentine's gift for your loved one, right? Love of tennis, love of this racket, love to you. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.